What's up everybody? So today we're going to be going over two throws that you can blend together. These are some of the most popular throws on the IJF tour blended together. Okay. We're going to be going over how you can blend Sode and Osoto together into one action so that you can throw your opponent. Let's get into this video. Okay. So let's take a look at blending two of the most popular throws in judo together. Okay. If you guys haven't seen them, make sure you check out Sagi Muki. He is world renowned for this particular throw. Okay. And it's not one I did until later on in my career, but now that I'm retired, it's one I absolutely love. All right. So you're going to go end of the sleeve. He's going to grab your chest. Okay. And you can't get that high hand, right? He's just like, he's just not giving it to you. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab that opposite sleeve and you're going to square his stance up just like we did before with that so did a coach. If you guys haven't seen that video, Go check it out. Now look, when we're here, we're going to blend this sode. Boom. Motion through. Elbow comes through. I hook that leg. I take a big step right into our osoto. Okay. Super simple to do. I know it looks scary, right? There's a lot of moving parts here, but look, you have so much control over his body. Boom. Big hook. Big step. Lift and throw. Okay, let's take a look at another one done a little bit faster. Now, I know this can be scary, it looks super advanced. I know I just said that, but again, practice with a partner that feels comfortable taking a fall. Okay, you want to make sure you can balance on one leg as well. Here, boom, hook, step, let go of that far sleeve. Let's change the angle so they can see that. Let's go this way. Look, once I feel him taking that fall here, bang, over the top. I go right to the camera, right at that angle. Boom. Straight through for the finish. Works super well in Randori. You can even time that with a foot sweep if you missed the Osoto. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Well, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that and don't get nervous. It's a super easy technique. It might be more advanced because you're blending a lot of different things together. But once you get the feel for the throw, you'll find it super easy and also very effective. If you guys are looking to learn more, make sure you check out this next video coming up and hit that subscribe button if you found this video useful.